Hi you guys, my name is Sharita and I once again am driving. I am on my way to a dinner for my friend and then I'm going to go to work after that. So, Okay, so the one thing that I want to talk about, oh my god. <clears throat> so the one thing that I want to talk about right now, just very, very quickly, is this whole James Charles situation. You guys, leave that boy alone. He did not do ne'er a nay or nothing to nobody. And what's inf infuriating is how people are using their allyship or allyness or ally card, however you want to call it. They're using it to push their hate towards James. Now, if you're confused, let me explain. So, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, James Charles posted a video of him singing My Type. I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure that's by City Girls. And they use the N-word a lot in that song. Now, James being the semi-smart person that he is, he was singing the song, but made sure that he did not sing nor mouth the N-word. He posted it to his Instagram stories. So, and whether he was drunk or high or whatever, sober, it doesn't matter. The point is, at that point in time, he knew not to say the word, he didn't say the word, and he posted it. But here comes every white person in the world talking about, oh my God, I can't believe James just said the N-word. I watched the video. I watched the video quite a few times. And number one, it's very obvious that he barely knows the words to the song. He knows as much of the lyrics as I do. That's my type, that's my type. That's all he knows. I don't know, I don't know the words. But it was very clear that James barely knew the words. So, but but what he did know is not to mouth or say or repeat the N-word. And everybody, oh, I can't believe he said this, he said that. And all the black people are like, you guys, he didn't say the word. Stop calling him out for your fake outrage. Just say you hate James Charles and go. And I, as a black woman, know what it's like for people to just hate black women for the sake of hating black women. And some people hate James Charles for the sake of hating James Charles. He's done some problematic stuff. I'm not saying that. But if y'all really just hate James Charles, just say you hate him and go. Don't try to nitpick at every single thing that he does. Now, as a black person, we deserve the respect of when we tell you what he said slash did was not racist, we deserve the respect for you guys to be like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Just as much as we deserve the respect when we tell you that your faves are racist. Because we sit here and we tell you all the time, your faves, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, are still racist. Yet y'all want to sit there and be like, no, uh, mm, no, that was in the past. He apologized. They've grown. Okay. Say they've grown. How come you guys are not giving James Charles the same room to grow? And miss me with the, well, he keeps doing the same thing over and over. Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson continue to do the same thing over and over and over again. Their character has not changed. They may not say racist things out in the open anymore, but their character has not changed. And when we tell you that, as black and brown people, we try to tell you guys, you guys, they haven't changed. Y'all want to sit there and be like, but they have. But the minute we try to tell you, you guys, what James Charles did was not wrong. Yes, it, yes, yes it is. How are you, who are you to tell? This is not your battle to fight. And... I was having a conversation with one of my Twitter friends and I was telling her just because you feel like he said it 
doesn't mean he did. And somebody else said something along the lines of, this is not your battle to fight. And she responded with, oh, so because I'm not black, I can't tell somebody not to say the N-word? No, that's not what was said. What was said was, James Charles did not say the N-word, so stop trying to be an ally when it's beneficial for you. Because at that point in time, there was no, no ally was needed. Not a single ally was needed because he did nothing wrong. And, and then she went, she went on, I think her original tweet said something about he knew he was causing controversy. For what? He didn't do anything. So then it came to the conversation of, so does that mean that, that non-black people can't even listen to the music because if the if the word is in it and even if they don't say it they still can't listen to the song and post it no that's bs they can listen to whatever song they want that song could have been times a thousand as long as he or any other non-black person does not fix their lips to say that word they can listen to it all damn day i don't care um and and then you get into the conversation of well if it's not their word to say then maybe we shouldn't even be putting it in songs er, screech halt that right there is tone policing that is language policing you cannot tell a, a marginalized person what words they can and cannot use now i use the example of my eight-year-old son my eight-year-old son listens to the music that comes on the radio every once in a while it you know an ass a hell a damn something like that may be thrown in the mix he knows not to say those words he can still enjoy the song he's not going to say the words because he's eight now if he grows up and he decides those are the words that he wants to say that's on him but then everybody's like well yeah but eventually he'll grow up so how come white people still can't say the n-word even if it's within a song because it's not their word that's just like Todrick Hall Todrick Hall is a gay man and he produces his own music and he has used the f-word quite frequently in his songs I enjoy Todrick Hall's music I don't say that word because that word does not belong to me. I will never be part of the LGBTQ community as my, you know, my lifestyle does not represent that. But I, that's still not my word to use. Just like for non-black people, the N-word is not for you to use. So I just don't understand why it's so hard. Like out of all the words in the world, y'all really want to just say that word, don't you? And I'm trying to figure out why. Like, just don't say it. Don't say it. There's words that I cannot use, I cannot say, as I am not part of the LGBTQ community. And I don't go around going, well, it's not fair that they can say it, but I can't. Get your head out of your ass and take full advantage of your privilege and be a good ally. That's, that's, I guess that's it. Again, what James Charles did was not racist. He did not mouth the words. He did not sing the words. He was simply listening to a song and that is on City Girls. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Also, do not forget to link up with me on my social media. All of that information will be down below in the description box. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye!